But whether it's good or bad, they're gonna have something to say about it. And so this season I've just kind of learned that I gotta just do me. And that's one thing that I've learned about myself is I'm always just gonna do my own thing on my own race. And just kind of disregard what bad things people have to say about me. And I've just kind of, that's how I've matured throughout this season. And stayed mentally tough. I'm exhausted, but I'm just gonna persist. I'm not done yet. What other meets are well? With that being said, have they talked to you about potentially being in the relay pool for uh, for the senior level, just after your performance in the hundred? I'm gonna go through processing for it, but the plan for right now is just to focus on U23 NACX. I made it for the hundred and the two hundred. I don't believe tomorrow you running the hundred, so I would get first spot. So I know you've been talking about your shoulder over the last couple of days. How did it feel in that final today? Um, it's been getting better. It's just kind of sore a bit. I've been getting a lot of work done, and that's one thing I'm really fortunate to have. Just throughout this entire week, I had my own personal chiropractor staying with me and my family and my coaches in, my, in an Airbnb. And I'm just, I'm so spoiled with it. Like, just having the opportunity to have a chiropractor work on me all week, keeping me as healthy as possible. That's not you something that everybody has, and I am very aware of that, so I'm so grateful for that, and that's why I'm here today. Awesome. Congratulations, Congratulations, Mia. Thank you. Make both this fun. You still want to run? Or you make that? Do so you, you think Mia's brought a huge break? Um, I am one of those people who, if I'm given an opportunity, I'm going to make the most of it. And if my body, if I get there and my body is just not having it, then so be it. But I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna give my all, regardless. Unless I'm obviously unable to like walk or something. But I'm gonna give it my all, and whatever happens, happens. But either way, success or failure, I'm gonna, I'm gonna win something from it. I mean, there's never a loss, really, when you lose. How do you feel coming out of these six races? My body's definitely tired, mentally drained a bit. Um, but I'm feeling. Really good about myself. I came in here, kind of telling myself, just kind of, I'm gonna give what I can and see what comes of it. Turns out, what I had to give was something pretty special. So I'm feeling good. You happen to watch Sean 248? That was amazing. I was, I was actually out there preparing for my own 200, and I was like, Hey, coach, can we pull it up? And he was like, And we pulled it up, and I watched her run that 248 with no wind. She killed that. Gaffed them all. And also Elise Cooper, she just finished her sophomore year. She came in second place and she's way further than I ever was in my sophomore year already. And that's just kind of, people have to be looking out for her. She's, she's something special. She ran a new 200 meter PR in the semis. What did you think when you saw that? Sorry? You ran a new 200 meter PR in the semis, the 2258. What did you think when you saw that? Yeah, so that was a World Athletics personal best, so I've never run better than that in a World Athletics like certified meet, but a couple weeks ago at Nike Nationals I ran 2243. Um, it just wasn't World Athletics certified, so technically it was a World Athletics PB, but it was nice to, to get that time up there in the rankings finally. Be able to show the World Athletics rankings what I've been working on. <laughs> so, making both finals, what's your biggest takeaway from the meet here? What What was your your best takeaway? Your most positive experience? You think overall? I think the biggest takeaway is that I'm way more capable than I give myself credit for. I came in here thinking I'll just kind of give what I can give, and like I just said, like it was what I had to give was something really special. So I just kind of learned. Never underestimate myself and to give myself credit. And I think that's going to be huge going forward.